Hey guys, welcome to another video. I know she got the same shirt on. Don't tell nobody, but I did some batch recording today. Shh, it's a secret. I'm gonna let y'all in on it though. Don't tell nobody else though. Do not tell nobody else, all right? So if you're interested in seeing what travel essentials I like to have, stay tuned for this video. These are some things that I like to have, whether it's gonna be a road trip or whether we're getting on a plane, sometimes for winter time, sometimes for summer, some of it goes for all seasons. Um, a lot of this stuff is when I'm just using a carry-on on the airplane and can't take full-size products. So let's get down and dirty with it. Speaking of dirty, pillowcase. I have this old pillowcase, I actually have two, and I take it because sometimes if I'm out and say I step in mud or um, I have on sneakers that you know something happens to get on them say you're walking in the beach and you got sand in your sneakers they go in this bag this pillowcase that way that sand or dirt does not get into my suitcase so I have two old pillowcases that I use for traveling that's just a little tip that I learned a long long time ago all right now airplanes I have my own blanket. My husband is taller than me. I'm wider than him. <laughs> but we cannot share my blanket, okay? We cannot share. So I always carry an extra blanket on the planes for him, which is this nice, comfy, soft gray blanket. And it folds up really small. Sometimes I just can roll it. And sometimes I'll fold it neater so that it folds really compact and small. So we have a blanket, a travel blanket, because he will forget it, so I make sure that I take it so that it is part of carry-on, and it'll either go in my carry-on, like if I'm checking a bag, it'll go in my carry-on backpack or in my tote. But if I'm using it as a carry-on, what am I trying to say? If I'm using a carry-on, that is one item, and then my tote is typically the other. So I have to have it either folded small or draped through the strap. So blanket for hubby other blanket is mine it's my favorite it is a sassy jones blanket they don't carry this anymore but it is massive it actually covers a queen size bed <laughs> so this is my favorite blanket i use it when i get to the hotels um i cover it up with it i use it in the airport i use it on the airplanes and this blanket does not get super small so typically when i'm going through the airport it is sitting on top of my suitcase as i'm pulling my suitcase along but i have to have this blanket because it's super thick and it's like i feel like linus i need to travel with my blanket okay so this is my blanket <laughs> all right um the next thing that is a must for me when I travel, our travel, our travel, our packing cubes, and I have two sets. All right, so these are my packing cubes. And although they don't look like they fit a lot, they actually do. And one day I'm gonna do a pack with me so that you guys can see how much I can actually fit in these travel cubes. This set has, it came with two, three, four, five pack, five pouches. So this one is a laundry pouch. You can put whatever in them that you want. They both say laundry pouches, travel, but I believe I got this off of, did I get this packing cube set from Shein or Amazon? I cannot remember because I've had it for a little over two years. All right, so I think it's been about two years that I ha got this gray one. Is there a hole in it? Girl, I'm gonna get nervous. It is a hole in it. Oh, I gotta fix that. All right, so we have this travel, this set of track tracking, this set of packing cubes here. And then we have another set of packing cubes. This set actually is a little, this bag is a little larger than the other one. So, I would imagine, I just got this one. This one also has a handle. I think I did get it from Amazon though. Though, because they're both, yeah, they're the same, but this one, the same company, but this one is larger. This one came with the large cube, and you have one that, a lot of people use this for shoes, but 
I take too many pairs of shoes to just use one bag, so we're not gonna talk about that. <clears throat> then it came with another nice size cube. So that's three. It has a little small one that you can use for like jewelry or I just lost a light. So if, if the lighting looks different, it's cause I lost the light. You can use it for jewelry, um, facial essentials, anything like that. It came with another little hanging pouch. Can't imagine what I would put in here, but I'm going to get some use out of it. And then it came with two more pouches. So secret pouch and secret pouch. And y'all know what? Why the word is on it upside down? This is the top side. Look at the words. <laughs> Maybe they did it on purpose like that. I don't know. But at any rate, you have this packing set and it's three, four, five, six. It came with seven pieces. And I just recently got this one off Amazon. So I can actually link this one. Um, the other one I won't be able to link because I don't even remember. I'm thinking I got it from Amazon. I don't quite know. But at any rate, travel. I love to use packing cubes. All right, another thing that I travel with is a makeup bag. This one is just a Sol de Janeiro um, cosmetic bag that I have. So it fits all of my makeup in it for when I'm traveling because I am very specific about how much makeup I take when I'm out because I don't want to overpack with makeup. Um, so it fits in here. And plus, I still have my makeup bag that goes in my purse or my tote. So, you know, I'm covered either way. I also take an extra backpack just because if we are going out and about, this one happens to be one from when my daughter was in this um, organization. No, I got this one when my niece was in it. Um, I have a blue one that's plain, but I just got this one from her. So I always have something like this because if I'm just say we go out and out and I'm doing like some shopping or picking up some, um, what do you call it? Memorabilia or like little tchotchkes and stuff like that. I don't want to have to carry a purse all the time. So I use this little backpack and keep this with me. That way when I'm shopping, I can drop everything in here. Oh, that I lost the set. This actually came in the other kit um, pouch too. Didn't lose a set, I lost a pouch. So this is my other full set of packing cubes there. All right, so now we got all that packed together. Um, Beachwear, pool, if you're going to a hotel, sometimes you might want to take a few things and you don't want to take your purse. I use it specifically um, when I'm at beaches. This is a fanny pack. and it is double double sealed. So you have, this is a closure and it has the Ziploc type closure. So you zip it up and you fold it down and you fold it down and then you take your Velcro and, and it's a, fun, a, a waterproof fanny pack. Another thing that I always take on vacations when we're going to beaches, or if we're going somewhere and there's gonna be a pool and I'm gonna get, I know I'm gonna get in and I don't want to get my phone wet. I don't know how that is offline, but another little phone protector case. Why is this? I don't know why it's not open. It's like it's stuck. So, okay, there. See how tight it is? Which is perfect. Cause you know that your phone's not gonna get wet so it opens up and then you can just slide your phone in and make sure that when you get these you pull the tabs up as high as possible these little plastic pieces that way your phone when it goes into the pouch it is definitely protected like you don't want any you don't want your you want this to come out be able to come out at all so this is what I use for my phone and it does go around my neck and you can pull it up as close as you want or as low as you want. And I did something with my camera again because I can see the phone, the screen doing something weird. All right, um, I always travel with my sunscreen and this is the black girl sunscreen. I get this at Target and I always travel with a 
tinted moisturizer. Um, it's a UV tinted moisturizer. So this is by Neutrogena, it's 30 um, SPF, and it comes in different shades. And this is the shade that I use. Uh, let's get to protecting ourselves outside. Always travel with, and I get this kind because it is airport approved because it is for under four ounces. This is actually four ounces total. So you know your, your liquids have to be four ounces or less. This is a bug repellent. It comes in a squeeze bottle to spray instead of the aerosol can. Do y'all know those aerosol cans are now $4.39 that are this size? So I got this one because this is plastic. It's still the four ounces and it was cheaper. So this is a travel bug repellent. Jets are flying over. All right. Now, they like to use these little travel bottles that are, you know, very popular, been around for years. They use several of these, so I did bring this down because they travel with these types of bottles and like to put creams and stuff in, they like to use Chef, the little top. They actually have like a little seal that you can put on the top so that your things don't leak, leak out. They like to use these little um, bowls for their creams and liquids for these. I, however, like to use more something that's more has a squeeze text, a squeeze that squeezes. So I have been using these in the past, which this one is actually gonna go in my purse. I need to put more lotion in it. But I found these on Amazon and I think they are the absolute neatest little pouches. They are refillable travel pouches. And you can see how thin it is and flat and it comes with labels so that you can label what's in each pouch. Now, there's tons in here. They're, they come in different sizes. So you have a really small one, then you have a medium size, and you have a larger one. And I'm gonna show you what they look like once you fill them because I have some that are already filled. So give me a second and I'll show you those. Right, so this is what the pouches look like when they're filled and they're already in a Ziploc bag because you know you have to have your your um, four ounces or less they have to go in a Ziploc bag or quart size bag so this is what they look like when they're filled this is my hair conditioner and look how it's still very thin um, this one is sunscreen this is his sunscreen he just uses a regular old sunscreen and then I have one that has black girl sunscreen in it as well um, body lotion and for the little baby ones this is witch hazel because I use that as a toner so this shows you that the liquids see look at that so this is just all of my things I even have one in here that has peroxide in it because I use peroxide too to brush my teeth so here you have this is what those pouches look like and they save so much space. And look, room to zip, to pouch up. Oops, that was a fail. Why is it not zipping? Okay, I might need a new Ziploc bag, but. And nothing falls out. All right, so there's that. Oh, and another bottle that they like to have is one that has a sprayer on it, just in case they have something that needs to spray. They like to travel with this kind of bottle. So that's that. And, oh, I forgot to tell you, the pouches actually come with a funnel for you to get the um, products in your pouches. So it does come with a little funnel. All right, as far, look, y'all know I be having my own personal summers. So I travel with a fan. I have this one and I have another one in my purse that's smaller. So you travel with a fan. And for cleaning purposes, yes, this is a toilet cleaner, but it's very good for cleaning showers as well. Cause y'all know the cleaning staff, they try their best to clean, but I'm OCD. So I clean behind them. But this is the one that, um, this is just the scrubbing bubbles one that 
that um, you use for the toilet cleaner, toilet bowl, but I use it for the shower as well. I'm trying to unlock it so that I can take it apart because it goes in the suitcase. So I'm gonna take this apart so that I can get it back, in, back into the suitcase. If I'm not overpacked, it'll still fit just like this. So here's my, my carry-on, and as you can see, it fits right inside. And again, I told y'all I had to put that in the suitcase because these are what I like to use on my face. And this is a Sharper Image travel carry-on. And it does have the um, four-way wheels, hard case, This is my carry-on. And last but not least is my cleaning kit. Just goes in a little makeup pouch. And in here we have, y'all know I told y'all I'm OCD. So we have in here, um, this is a sponge that has cleaner already in it, some gel, cleaning gel that's already in it. We have the scrubbing bubbles the refill pack that goes with the wand. We have some disinfectant wipes. We have two packs of disinfectant wipes. We have a larger pack and we have a smaller pack. We're gonna make sure this room is clean. And we have some bed bug spray. And we have a small can of Lysol. And I do have two of these because one is in my purse and then I have this one. So no matter what, when we get to the room to check in, I'll always have two cans of spray. So, and I was watching um, Operation Nikki, and I never thought to travel with gloves, and I do have gloves, so I have my little gloves that I'll be traveling with this time, because I just normally clean, you know, and hands just be cleaning up stuff, but she had the gloves, and I thought that that was the absolute most amazing idea. And once again, got you have your little, this, is, this makes it so easy because you don't have to worry about having um, a bottle of travel of cleanser with you you can just put it in here or you could take your cleanser and pour it in one of those pouches that way you can have it to clean so these are my travel essentials um i hope you have seen something that could be helpful for you when you travel or you know i hope you found something interesting that you know a different way of packing different things so i thank y'all for y'all's time and i'm getting ready to end this video and clean up my mess and get on with the rest of my day. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.